My name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we would like to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 208 in the series of basic math, and today we'll have our eighth lesson, eighth video in the series of 15 on the topic of Venn diagram. Problem, as you, can, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. This problem that you see there, this problem that you see there, is very similar, very similar to what we did yesterday on day number 207. Listen very carefully. Make sure that you have watched day 207. Make sure you watched it first. Make sure you watch it first. If you have not watched day 207, that means that you are to pause this video. You have to stop this video. Watch yesterday's video first. Understand it. Because what we're going to do today is the exact same problem, worded a little bit differently, but the exact same problem, but algebraically. We will not solve this problem, yesterday's problem, with the Venn diagram. That's what we did yesterday. Now we'll do the problem algebraically. It's not the exact same problem, but it's, it's, as I said, it's, it's worded, it worded differently, but the essence is the same, the gist is the same. Do you understand? So here's the problem. We did a survey. We did a survey of 900 students. 900 students were asked. 900 students were asked three questions. We asked three questions to 900 students. We asked them, "Do you like to play cricket?" 40% of people, 40% of responded out of this 900 said, "Yes, I like cricket. I like to play cricket." 30% of these 900 people, when they were asked, when they were asked, "Do you like to play hockey?" They said, yes, I like to play hockey. Why not? I like hockey. 75% of people, three quarter of them, when they were asked, do you like to play football? They said, sure, I like football. Everybody likes football. Who doesn't? Right? We are also told that everyone likes at least one sport. Everyone likes at least one sport. In other words, there was nobody out of those 900 people when approached and asked, do you like cricket or do you like hockey or do you like football? They did not say no, no, no. They did not say no to all three of the questions. They like at least one activities. In other words, in other words, no one likes none. No one likes none. No one likes none is another way of saying everybody likes at least one activity. No one likes none is another way of saying everybody who was surveyed like at least one activity. Either they said, yes, I like cricket, or they said, yes, I like soccer, or yes, I like football, uh, rather, I like football, or uh, yes, I do like hockey. One of the activities, you understand? 35% of people, 35% of people, we are told, exactly 35% uh, 35% of people, we are told, ex like exactly two of these activities. 35% of people out of this 900, when they were asked which of these three sports they like, they indicated exactly two of these sports as, the, as their favorite activity. The question is very simple. How many of them said exactly one? How many of these people out of this 900 when they were surveyed indicated exactly one of these three sports as their favorite activity, as their favorite sports, as the sports that they engage in rather? Do you understand? Let's do the problem now algebraically. If you want to give it a shot first, do it through yourself first, solve it algebraically without the Venn diagram. Do you understand? And then you can compare the your work against my against the work that we'll do together. I'll give you five seconds just in the event that you want to pause, or you want to be able to pause and unpause the video to solve it yourself. Here we go. Now when we are solving algebraically, when we are solving something algebraically, the very first thing we have to do in every any problem, any problem at all, when you're doing it algebraically, is to define a variable. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let so here is our solution. First we're going to define our variable. Let, let x represent the number of people, the number of people who like, who like, exactly who like, exactly one sport. That's our variable x. But since I don't have the room, I'm going to erase this thing and continue with the next one. Let's y, let, let y represent the number of people who like exactly two sports. And finally, our letter z, our letter z will represent the number of people who like exactly three sports. So if you add up all the people who like exactly one sport, 
and the people who like exactly two sports and the people who like exactly three sports but they should add up to what? They should add up to the number of people we ask. The number of people we ask the question is uh, should, should that's, 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 that's the sample size. It should add up to 900 people. Out of the 900 people, in other words, out of the 900 people that we surveyed, some of them said they like exactly one activities, some of them said they like exactly two activities, and some of them said they like all three of these activities. This should add up to 900. This is our first equation. This is our first equation, okay? Let's continue here. Let's take a look at this here. We have 40%, I need the room, that's what I'm looking at here. 40% said cricket. Everyone likes at least one activity, which means there is nobody here who said that they do not like any activity. I'm going to raise that part now. Okay, just add up these figures, see what happens. When we add up these figures here, we get 5. We get, tell you what, instead of dealing with 900, because if we, deal, if, if, if we write there 900, if we were to write this 900 like I just did, then we're going to have to convert 40% of 900, 30% of 900, 75% of 900. It will be quite grueling, it will be quite annoying, it will be a sheer waste of time. Let's pretend that we only have 100 people. In other words, we're going to solve this problem in terms of percentages. And once we have the answer, the question is, how many of them like exactly one, one, one sport? Once we have our answer, we're just going to magnify that by the factor of 9. We're just going to multiply it by 9 and we'll have our 900. We start out with 100, we're going to just find, multiply our final answer by 9. Okay? So that way we don't have to worry about this, 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 uh, this situation here. So this is 5, 3 plus 7 is 10, so it's one, this is 145. So what does this 145 represent? I need the room, so let's put it here. Keep in mind that 35% like exactly two activities. Why don't we take care of this thing? Since, we, this, is, since this is a known quantity, 35%, 35 people, since we are no longer dealing with percentages, we are pretending that we have 100 people. Out of the 100 people, 35 of them, 35 of them like exactly two activities. What is our variable that indicates the number of people who like exactly two activities? The number of people who like exactly two activities, this is y. And that y we are told is 35. So that's not an unknown, we know that here. Unknown factors are x and z. Now we have two unknowns, which is why if we can somehow get one more equation, we can solve for x and z. We have, we, we have two unknown, we need two independent equations. We already have one equation, we are trying to get another equation. Let's do it, shall we? Continue. So the y equals 35, now we can erase all this. And what we are solving for are the people, people who like exactly one activity. People who like exactly one activity is this thing. This is what we are interested in, z. Let's put it together. So what does this 145 represent? Well, this 145 represents, this 145 represents the number of people who like one sport, and then the number of people who like two sports. The reason why this is 145, even though we have 100 people, even though this should add up to 100, the reason we are getting 145 here is because this 145 involves people who have been double counted because they like two activities, and it also involves, it also involves the number of people who have been triple counted. This 145 has in it, this 145 has in it double counting for people who like two activities and triple counting for people who like all three sports. So people, people who like exactly two, exactly one activity is X. People who like exactly two activities is Y, but they've been counted twice, which is why we're getting more than 100. Then we have Z. Z represents the number of people who like three, all three activities, and they have been triple counted. And that, has, and that, that, that is why we're getting 145 here. This discrepancy of 45 that we have here, but this should add up to 100. The reason why it adds up to 145 is because some of the people are double counted and some of the people are triple counted. Now we know the value of y. y is 35. Let's put it in here. So what we get is x plus 2 times 35. 2 times 35 because y is 35 right here. Plus 3 times z equals 145. 2 times 35 is 70. So let's subtract 70 from both sides. And this 70 is going to go away. And what we end up is x plus 3z, x plus 3z equals 145 minus 70, that's going to be 75. And here's our second equation, x plus 35 plus 100, let's put it in here. x plus, x plus 35, x plus 35 plus 100, subtract 35 from both sides, and this 35 will go away. 
And here is our second equation. Simple as that. We'll have two unknown, two, uh, two, two simple, very simple linear equations and two unknown. X, this goes away, plus Z equals 65. There you go. Let's put it here, shall we? Now, if you put it here, we are interested in figuring out the X. Listen carefully. If you put it in here, we are interested in figuring out the Z. There is a 3z. Just give me one brief second here. I'm trying to get my thoughts together here. Now, it's, I shouldn't have to look at my notes here. I can just keep on going the way I wanted to go. It would have been simpler. I don't know why I had the urge. Okay. We want to keep the x. We want to find out the x. x is what we are interested in. It really doesn't matter. Even if I carried on the way I was about to carry on, we can figure out the z first and then figure out the x. I don't know why I'm making so much first. Let's just carry on. I was about to multiply this equation by 3. You multiply that equation by 3 and that will end up with 3z over here and 3z over there. Then we can subtract the 3z from 3z and we can solve for x. We could do that. Let's just keep it simple. Let's just solve for z. x plus z, x plus z equals 65 right here. Equation 1, equation 2, I'm not writing any down. There is the equation right here, and there is the other equation. Let's, let's put a demarcation so we, can, we don't get confused. Let's put a demarcation. That's it, we're done. I'm, I'm making too much fuss about nothing. Let's just subtract it. It's minus, positive becomes negative, positive becomes negative. X is going to go away. 3z minus 2z is 2, 3z minus z is 2z. And 75 minus 65 is 10. Now, if you watch yesterday's video, if you watch yesterday's video, you will see that this 10 has the significance. When we are doing it with one diagram, that 10 has, 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 has a great deal of significance. This 10 tells, tells us how many people were triple counted. As you can see here, 2z equals 10, therefore z equals 5. 5 people were triple counted. 5 people were triple counted because z represents the number of people who are engaged in all three activities. But we were not interested question is not asking how many people are engaged in all three activities. The question is asking how many people like exactly one sports. We are interested in solving for x. z is 5, therefore x must be, z is equal to 5, x plus 5 equals 65, and therefore x must be 60. Now keep in mind that x there, 60 there, is actually a 60%. x there that we found is actually 60%. So at the end, all we have to do now is to figure out what is 60% of 900. 50%, 50 of 900, 50 of 900 is 450, and therefore 10% of 900, I shouldn't say therefore, I'm not making a connection, we know half of, half of 900 is 450, and 10% of 900 is just going to be 90. And therefore 60%, 60 60% 60 of 900 is just going to be 540. Oh, I just realized, I just realized, it's too late now, it's way too late in the game. I just realized that I forgot to give you the answer choices in the beginning. I forgot to give you the answer choices. But had you done, had you done what I told you to do, which is to watch the video from 207 first, of course in yesterday's video I did actually indicate the answer choices in the very beginning. The correct answer of course is what we found yesterday, which is 540. But this is the algebraic solution, as opposed to the solution via Venn diagram. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.